Good morning. This morning I come to you from my exercise bike because I need to update you with progress on my cycling challenge. As you know, throughout June I've been cycling from virtual Paris to virtual Geneva on a 500 kilometre route. Unfortunately, the end of June came before I got to the virtual water spout at the end of the virtual lake. The five kilometre walk that forms part of my commute to and from school being an inadequate substitute for an hour on the bike when it comes to covering distance. What do you do when you fail in a challenge? What should I do having failed in this one? It's very easy to feel downhearted. It's quite tempting to give up, but I'm sure you'll be expecting more of me than that. Following the easy and tempting paths is not often the Harris Westminster way. In June, I got through 433 kilometers, a total that got me through Champagne country and just shy of the Swiss border. And that's quite an achievement. The 500 kilometres I did in May to get to virtual Paris is looking like even more of one. And so, buoyed by that, I'm cycling on, hoping to complete my challenge in the next couple of days and then looking to the next one, the 580 virtual kilometres to Innsbruck. Completing this before the end of July is now looking beyond my reach. But I shall stick to my original plan and hope to complete it within 31 calendar days. A challenge that I shall have to cycle a little harder and a little faster than ever before to meet. As Beckett says, ever tried, ever failed, no matter, try again, fail again, fail better. <laughs>